Phase two, we've made some progress. Let's take you through that now. <coughs> and here we have the 6LW as we normally expect to see a gardener in our upright position. Not a lot to report here really, except you can see the substantial mounts on the front there. Another view, uh, this would normally be the upper side. Uh, you can see there the ports for the water rails running along the side of the heads there. This shows you the starter side, which would be the normally the underside of the engine. You can see there those um, rather chaotic looking pipes are carrying coolant from to and from the water pump. Those pipes are actually quite battered, so we may consider um, replace them with a good quality flexible, or one way or the other we'll certainly renew them. Here we've got the bare head uh, just before we'll start cleaning it. Uh, we've got most of the new parts that we need there. We've got new valves and new, um, new guides and so on. So we'll fit those once we have cleaned the head all thoroughly and it's ready to be put back together. Now this is a really interesting question on the head here. You can see the open ports. They're obviously there uh, for the oil to run through as we described before. But why is that port blanked off there? Could it be that this head, um, this design of head had multiple purposes? I really don't know. I can't quite work that out why that blanks there. It's probably to save uh, casting in some way. This is simply a collection of the parts, again, just prior to cleaning. Uh, the whole lot will be all cleaned very thoroughly, and then soda blasted, and then cleaned again. Now, here you can see how the end plate has obviously got broken. Um, most likely the engine has been swinging on a chain or a strap from a forklift or a hoist or some such and somebody has been just a little bit careless and it's got a knock and just sheared off the whole bottom part of the end plate but not to worry again we've managed to find one so we'll fit that uh, once we've prepared it once we've got it cleaned and sort of blast and so on we'll fit that new end plate and everything will be fine this is part of our efforts to repair the broken head it's quite a tricky job because we're having to weld mild steel into cast iron and we have to use special rods to do that but it's coming around quite nicely we've done this before quite a few times and it it, it normally works out okay um, this particular customer wants us to supply the mounts with this engine uh, the front mounts we're able to get off no problem um, but the rear ones are really proving quite stubborn you can see here some of the effort we've had to make to try and get them to come off but we will get there eventually using a mixture of heat and penetrating oil and just simple effort our next video will be phase three and i'm hoping at that stage we'll have the engine ready to be reassembled again Thanks a lot.